Hello and welcome to another update video about XRP. XRP has started the decline from this extended Fibonacci target area. As you might remember, the overall yeah, targets were reached for this third wave to the upside. Um, it even got extended. So a pullback was overdue and absolutely should not surprise anyone. In the last video, I even covered the larger time frame. So I'm not going to do that again. If you're new here and you're interested in the larger time frame, and if you're interested in how this is built into the bigger picture, yeah, check out my last video um, on XRP. Just a very quick reminder, the idea is that this is currently possibly the beginning of the Y wave to the upside, um, which would be an ABC structure itself within an Elliott wave triangle. And this could be a C wave of a triangle, but I explained that in detail in the last video, no need to do that again. The idea is at the moment that we have seen only a three wave rally to the upside. Three waves here to the 64 cent level, three waves from the 5th of July low. Now that means it could be that we get another high. If we get five waves, we have a pretty good long trade setup because after five waves, the trend is generally to be considered up from an Elliott wave point of view and the subsequent three wave pullback, which obviously should correct this five wave move, ABC, should form a higher low and we will be able to add a support area. In that case, then it would be five waves up in wave A. The pullback would be a B wave and we can watch for a C wave rally into the $1 region. To get clarity about this and a pretty straightforward setup, we need a five wave move up in wave A. To get five waves, we want to see the price hold support between 50.6 cents and 57 cents, because only then we can consider this an impulse in wave A. Any break below 50.6 cents will make it more likely that we are attempting to test the lower support region. That would be a different wave count and would make the entire chart more questionable. I mean, in this scenario, then we would only have a three wave move up it is possible that an A wave, and this is where the context comes in, which I explained in the last video, the A wave can be a three wave move. So it wouldn't necessarily be bearish, but it would not be clearly bullish. That's a difference. All right. Not bear. I mean, bearish and not clearly bullish are different. Uh, different um, yeah, it's just different, different concept. So it could still hold support in the lower support region then in a B wave, if we assume the A wave has topped in three waves, which I have to assume if we break below the upper support region. Um, then again, it's not clearly bullish and could easily be that yeah, this is not going to follow through to the upside. It is always preferred for clarity to get a five wave move up. And if we get one, then we get a decent setup. Now we have support levels to watch. Yeah, but it's not a clear setup. Still though, it's possible that we see a reaction here to the upper support region for a fifth wave. Um, in this case, we would need to see a reaction before the 50.6 cent level is breaking. At the moment, there is absolutely no sign that this pullback is over. I would imagine it um, will last a little bit longer in this wave four. And um, if this is a wave four, this is probably just the A wave down. And if this is a wave four, I'd Imagine it goes at least to 53.5 cents, the 38.2 retracement, which is typically an ideal target for a fourth wave, or maybe even 50.6 cents. But anything below that would clearly emphasize a three wave top. We could then, if it's a three wave top, which opens the door to new lows as well, we could then still consider a larger ABC structure as mentioned. But then there is a lower support region between 49.3 cents and 42.6 cents where we can watch for support, but it will just make the entire chart less clear. I would absolutely not be surprised if we break below the upper support region. I think I mentioned it in the last video that if we get that pullback, XRP loves to form three wave rallies. So I would absolutely not be surprised if either XRP fails completely the rally or if XRP um, yeah, forms this larger ABC structure. So I'd be positively surprised if we get a fifth wave. It would obviously be great from an analysis point of view for clarity, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I don't necessarily believe it until I see it. Happy to be impressed by XRP, um, but yeah, it has been a while since XRP really formed the five wave move. I mean, yeah, you could say, okay, this is five waves, but it's part of a larger three wave move. So 
that's what I'm watching for. There are some levels to watch. Um, there is not really enough price action to say what exactly this is. It looks a little bit like a five wave move down. So even in the white count here, which is this wave four, I'd say this looks like an A, B, C structure at least. Huh? Maybe, maybe even something um, more bearish, which would be the larger B wave correction. But then um, we need more price data for that, okay? Levels should be clear. If we get another rally to the upside, which I don't assume is happening yet, you know, not yet, um, then we should get to 65 cents, maybe 70 cents in the fifth wave, probably rather 70 if we really get a fifth wave. That's my update about XRP. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.